guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Killer Mods, and I'm back with a brand new GTA 5 online glitch. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get really secret liveries and Benny's reels on any of these um, tactical and special vehicles. So, just like this half truck that I have right here, it has Benny's reels on it, and you can see them are also merged into the tracks as well down here, uh, and also the secret money livery. Now, there's a few cars that I have on here. Uh, just like this revolt here, it has the money livery as well. Also the oppressor, you can also get money livery on that. You can also get the money livery on the Mark II oppressor as well, which is pretty hard to get. And this one um, is pretty easy to get. Uh, but like I said, uh, there is a few um, ones that you, it's pretty hard to get. Like the APC and the half track, I've been looking for one uh, for a few times, but now you can actually get it. Um, so yeah, there's a whole bunch of special vehicles. I can name a few right now. Uh, of the ones that you can get, uh, so like the Chernobog, the RCV, the Kanjali, the Akula, Avenger, Ardent, Weaponized Tampa, the Oppressor, Night Shark, Insurgent Custom, Technical Custom, Half Track, APC, the Doomfab, the AH Failure, the Revolter, the Barrage, and the Thruster. Uh, a few other ones that you can also get that are uh, new to the list is the Comet Safari and the Molotov. And the Molotov is the airplane that you guys can get, it's a small one that's off of. Uh, I believe war stock, um, and then a few other ones that you guys can get. These, this is kind of like the newer list that came out. Uh, is the Menacer, the Patriot, the Patriot Stretch, the Speedo Custom, the Mule Custom, the Pounder Custom, and the Oppressor Mark II. So basically, all the vehicles that are from the um, After Hours DLC that came out uh, just before the Arena one. So. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get, um, just a normal, like, just a normal livery, um, like a skull livery, or, uh, the Knuckle Duster, the Bully, the Rockstar, any of those Galaxy ones, um, on this, uh, Insurgent here that I just bought, and then also I'll teach you guys how to get, uh, like the money livery on, um, really, like a really rare money livery you guys can't actually select using this glitch on the barrage here that I also just bought. So the few things you guys do need is obviously the vehicle you want to put the mods onto. Um, so like I said, just the the vehicles that I just listed there and also the vehicles that I just listed there is going to be in the comment section down below as well pinned. Uh, another vehicle you guys do need is a pre-modded. So anything that you have modded from any other friends so right here, I suggest the LG Retro Custom. Like I said, just mod this. You guys can choose any bending wheel you guys want and it will merge over to and then the color you can just switch over and it's using my crew go and join my crew we have like modded colors going in like all the time another vehicle you guys do need is the hot ring saber right here um so this vehicle here has about i think 31 different liveries and there are secret liveries that you guys can put on this vehicle that will go over and merge onto these ones uh, another thing that you guys do need for this glitch is the arena workshop, so the arena that I'm in right now. Uh, you guys also do need the RC Bandito, now it doesn't need to be modded at all, so if you guys just have a stock one, that's perfectly fine. And you guys just need a friend that's in a different target mode, so this is actually solo, um, your friend doesn't even know that you're joining them. And also you can do this completely solo as well, uh, no need to even tell them to go into a different target mode. You just change your target mode to free aim. And then just join them because they're most likely going to be in assisted aim so you guys friend with them in that way or if you're in the free aim switch over to assisted aim uh and do it from there so those are the few things that you guys do need for this glitch um and yeah let's just get straight into today's video so basically what you guys are going to do here uh just to get the normal average let's say school livery on the uh insurgent pickup custom right here you guys are going to go ahead and need to mod one of these hot ring savers that I have over here. So here's a stock one that I just recently bought. And I'm going to go ahead and mod it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into my LG Retro Custom. I'm going to press right on the D-pad. And so, I don't really want cleans up? on my what Insurgent Pickup then? Custom. So I'm going to change these Benny's wheels to something else. Um, so I'm just going to go down to wheels. And as you can see, I can change any of the wheels here. And they are, are all modded white. So it doesn't matter what I choose. So I'm gonna tr I'm gonna go over and click. Um, I want to put, let's say, I want to put like something that would match the skulls. So I'm gonna go with maybe. Um, 
Uh, I don't know, it's kind of hard to choose. Let's go with the spiralizers. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, and I'm going to go down to tires, tire design, I'm going to switch the these ones over here as well. And there we go. This is the modded LSD Retro Custom, um, with the modded livery, I um, mean not the modded livery, sorry, the modded colors, the modded tires, and the modded license plate, along with the green tint and one of the modded horns. Um, so yeah, so this is what you guys are going to do, you guys are going to bring into the LSD Retro Custom or any other car that you have modded. You're going to bring in here, you're going to exit the vehicle, you don't need to change the bangs wheels on it by the way, that was just a thing that I wanted to do, so you're just going to exit the vehicle, you're going to go over to your RC Bandito here, you're going to make sure that it has to, that it needs to be repaired, so if this needs to be repaired, just repair, if it doesn't, then it doesn't, so make sure that it is repaired, you guys are going to go to first person, you guys are going to look at that white hot ring saber over there with a blue circle next to it, you're going to stare at that, you're going to press right D-pad and push up on the left joystick at the same time, you'll see your your character go around in a circle and he'll face right back at this RC Bandito. Once that happens, you guys are good to go. You guys can go back into the car that's modded. You guys are going to get in, you're going to press right D-pad. And you guys so, are going to change something on this vehicle. Up? So I'm just going to change the armor here for $7,500. And once I purchase it, you're just going to go over your friends list. And you're going to find somebody that's in a different targeting mode. So obviously these guys, these guys are all probably in a different targeting mode than I am. Because I'm in free aim right now. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this guy here, um, and see how this failed to connect to the session, so that means that they're in a job at the moment, see so how they're going to choose the next guy, this is say getting GTA Online session details, and then it will show you a first alert, now this is what happens when the people are in the same targeting mode as you, the first alert is going to come and it's going to disappear, you're going to wait there and a second alert will come up, if they're in the same targeting mode as you, don't worry, this is what's going to happen. You guys are just going to deny the second alert. You guys are going to hop out of the car. And you guys are going to do the same thing. Now if they were in a different target mode. The first alert will appear. It will disappear. And then the second alert will come up straight after. You're just going to wait on the second alert for about 5 seconds. And then you're going to deny it. And then get out of the vehicle and follow from here. You guys are now going to get into the vehicle that you want modded. So in this case I want the hot ring saber right here. I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. And I'm just going to press gas because as you can see at the top left it says you already have a vehicle parked in the workshop area. So you guys are just going to press gas, you're going to drive it out and everything should change over to the hot ring saber. Now for a split second you'll see it's stock and then just like that everything has changed. The color, the wheels, the horns, the windows, everything like that. So now you guys are good to go for the next part of the glitch. You guys are just going to go ahead and hop out of this vehicle right here. You're going to go into visible, you're going to go back over to your workshop. We're just going to go save the vehicle really quickly. Now by saving, you're just either going to switch your outfit or you're going to switch uh, the vehicles around that are inside your garage. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the vehicles around. So you're just going to go over to the blue circle right over here. You guys are just going to go ahead and switch the vehicles around. If I can get over there, here we go. So you're just going to swap these around just like that. And boom, now it's saved. Whatever you guys do, it will be there. So now what you guys are going to do from here is you're going to figure out what livery you guys want on the vehicle that you guys are customizing. So in this case, um, there's a whole bunch of different liveries. I'm just going to name them off really quickly. You guys have the Skull, the Nuggle Duster, the Bully, the Rockstar, the Red Tartan, the Galaxy Christmas Camo, Candy Cane, Snowflake, Mistletoe, Pink and Green Camo, Yellow and Blue Camo, Orange Shade Camo, Blue and Green Camo, Hunting Camo, Blue Tartan, Santo Capra Coins, Sasanta Nove Monogram, Sasanta Nove Multicolor, and the Dalla Dalla. So those are the ones that you guys can choose from. So what you guys are going to go ahead and do is you guys are going to hop into your Hot Ring Saber. You're gonna press right on the D-pad to customize it, and you guys are gonna pick the livery. You're gonna pick the livery that is be? corresponding to the one that you got, well, the other livery that you guys want. So, for example, this vehicle right here that I have right here only goes up to 31 different liveries. So you guys can go from skulls to uh, to mistletoe. So anything from skulls, knuckle duster, bully, rockstar, red tartan, galaxy, Christmas camel, candy cane, snowflake, and mistletoe. You guys can choose from. Now the other ones that you guys cannot get from this vehicle by choosing the liveries is the pink and green camo, the yellow and blue camo, orange shade camo, blue and green camo, hunting camo, blue tartan, Sano Capra coins, 
Sinesta Nova Monogram, Sinesta Nova Multicolored, and the Dollar Dollar. Now I'll show you guys how to get those ones uh, in a little bit. I'm just going to show you guys how to get this one from here. So what I'm going to do is I want to get the school livery onto my uh, Insurgent Pickup Custom. So what I'm going to do is schools is uh, livery number 22. So I'm going to go down into the top right corner where you see how it's going up from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm going to go all the way on to 22. And just like here, the cover up paint number 34 is the skull livery. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Now right here, it isn't skull livery, obviously, because this is the livery for this vehicle. But when we go ahead and merge this vehicle over to the night shirt, or sorry, not the night shirt, the insurgent, it will think that the livery corresponding to number 22 on here is school livery on that vehicle but the school livery you cannot select it's never been out in the game i don't think it ever will be it's just in the game files and this is what it does so you guys are just going to go ahead and back out of here you guys are going to go ahead and exit the vehicle you're going to do the exact same thing you guys are going to go over here you're going to make sure that it needs repaired if it needs repaired you guys are just going to go ahead and repair it you're going to exit the vehicle, you're going to face over to the blue circle right over there, you're going to edge forward just so then the left alert goes up there, you guys are going to press right d-pad and left at the same time, you, or right d-pad and up on the left joystick at the same time, your character is going to do a 360, you guys are going to go back into your car, and you guys are going to finish off the glitch by pressing right on the d-pad, and by changing something like the vehicle, so I'm just going to go change armor to none, and again I'm going to go to friends list, and I just remembered that a lot of people here um may not be online just like this guy here um so as you can see nobody has any level at all uh next to their name except for like say one or two people but on the right hand side you can see the number is going up to infinity uh to wherever so it only has send game invite but there should be a couple guys just like this guy right here i'm going to go ahead and press x on the theme and click on join game now getting GTA Online session details should pop up. Sweet. You guys are going to go okay. in here and this is what happens when your friend is not in the same targeting mode. The first alert goes up and then they wait in like a second and then the second alert comes here. You're going to wait on the second alert for about 5 seconds. You're going to decline this one, decline the pause menu. You're going to hop out of the vehicle and you're going to go ahead and hop in to the vehicle you want your mods to go on to. So in this case I want the school livery on this and search and pick up custom right here. And from stock to modded, in a couple of seconds, you guys are going to press gas, and you'll see that we have a brand new modded vehicle waiting for us to drive our way with. So just like that, you guys saw that it all transferred over. Now, as you see, the gun at the top did not transfer over. Now, this is the really cool part. You guys go ahead and customize this vehicle and put armor plates around it. The gun will not show up. That means that this vehicle has a modded feature. Now the modded feature about this vehicle is if you mod it with anything, it doesn't matter if you mod it with a livery or just the Benny's tires, your gun will be invisible. So as you can see, I'm going to show you guys right now, I'm going to hop out of here, I'm going to go into my uh, workshop, and I'm going to go ahead and go into my workshop level, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. You guys can select whatever gun you want, and you guys can select whatever arming plane you want around your vehicle, but whatever you do, the gun will never ever show up. So this is really cool, invisible gun. Nobody will know when it's coming because it doesn't show you that you have the gun, nor does it stay on you that you have the gun or anybody else inside your lobby. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I'm talking about now. If you guys wanna join my crew, uh, we have modded colors all the time and you guys can What's select a whole bunch be? of different modded colors what just like I this do? blue one here and also secret gold sometimes on um, modded white so in this case we have modded white on my crew at the moment so i'm just going to go ahead and go down to respray and i'm just going to choose my crew color just so then it pops out more with the skulls so i'm going to go ahead and choose that now as you can see by livery if we select livery there's no livery that's appearing because that's really livery number 21 is right here now going past 21 to 22 is skulls but now it doesn't actually show you what 22 23 24 is because it's not actually there so like i'm saying about this invisible gun here if you go down to weapons i you can see that i have my minigun attached also i have a 50 cal minigun as well that i can choose from as well but i'm not going to go ahead and put that on at the moment uh, i'm just going to go down to all the way down to where it says 
Um, trying to figure out where it has all the armor plating, the chassis. So this is the armor plating here, and as you can see, the invisible gun is still up there. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. And there we go. Everything has now been transferred over. The light, everything like that, the neon kit, the layout, the front and back. Everything's been transferred. The, the wheels have also been transferred. But the recent update that Rockstar gave us um, is the ability to put Benny's wheels on a night shark. Or not the night shark. You can search. I don't know why I'm saying night shark. But you guys can actually go down to wheels if you guys don't like the wheel that you selected. You guys can go to wheel type and change whatever wheel you guys want on here. But just keep in mind that this is already modded white. So these are all modded white tires. Everybody's looking for these ones. So go ahead and choose whatever vehicle you want with any of these. And it's really, really simple to do. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. Okay, now there's no so, there's no um, no reason why you should uh, switch the vehicles because you just brought it in there. But as you can see, it's still invisible up there. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get into the back and see if I can show you guys the invisible gun. Um, yeah, here we go. My character's going in there, and he's look look at he's holding an invisible gun right now, guys. This is really cool. I'm gonna go in the first person here to show you guys that he's holding an invisible gun. It is pretty cool. I find that this is a really cool way um, to have an invisible gun. Uh, I didn't know it actually did that, so. It's a pretty inter interesting thing that you guys can do um, with the modded one here. So this is how you get just a normal um, special vehicle with modded liveries and also the Benny. Um, so next part is how to get uh, more secret, more, more rare secret liveries um, going beyond the 31 liveries that the uh, Hot Ring Saber over here has. So the Hot Ring Saber only has 31 liveries. But um, the mods can all can go up to 41. So the 10 more liveries that you guys can choose from uh, actually can't be physically chosen unless you guys have a pre-modded one already. So as you can see, I have money livery on almost all my modded cars in here, and this is the way I've been doing it. So I did have an insurgent pickup custom that already had money livery on it, so I didn't have to worry about finding a vehicle that has more than 31 different liveries. So if you guys do need help by just having a car that has money livery on it, so you guys can put money livery on all your other vehicles, go ahead and let me know. So what I want to do is I want to put on the barrage because the barrage is pretty rare to have the money livery on. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into my APC which has the money livery already on it with everything, Benny's wheels, all the lot. I'm going to press right on D-pad to go into my workshop. So, what's up? Sorry for the long what video guys, I'm just putting like basically two videos in one here for you guys so you guys can watch it all uh you guys are just gonna go ahead and exit the vehicle you guys are gonna go ahead and go over to your uh rc bandito you're gonna go ahead and press right d-pad you're gonna repair the vehicle if you okay, do need bye -bye. you're gonna go ahead and face the blue circle that's over here you're gonna go ahead and press right d-pad and up on left at the same be? time and you guys will go through 60 you guys are gonna go back to the vehicle right here and you're gonna press right on d-pad So once you press right on D-pad, you guys are going to go ahead and change something. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and go down to armor and choose none. I'm going to go over to my friends list. And everybody's name's back up again. So you're just going to go choose another guy. So yeah, sometimes your name, people's names don't come up with their levels. So you're just going to go choose somebody that has it. This guy isn't in my targeting mode, so perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and deny this alert. I'm going to back out. I'm going to get out of here by pressing triangle. You have my car, and as simple as that, you have a very, very rare modded uh, vehicle just about to happen here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get to my barrage here. And just like that, I'm going to drive outside, and the money livery should go on to my barrage with all the other stuff on here. So as you can see, just like that, the vehicle with the wheels and the modded delivery and all that has transferred over. Now there is also another really cool thing, besides the modded invisible gun for the insurgent, there is also a really cool thing about this vehicle. So I'm going to tell you guys something about this vehicle right now. So as you can see, this vehicle did come out on a doomsday heist, and in the update you guys could also drive one of the uh, Kanjali's or the barrage in the final heist, Act 3 of Doomsday. Now, if you guys ever noticed by driving them down the road, you have a glowing eyeball on the side. Now, there is a way to get the glowing eye 
uh, which is the icon for, I can't remember the company, but you can also get the eye from the Doomsday Heist modded onto here, and I don't know why Rockstar actually added to the game when you mod it, well, you're not really supposed to mod these, but I don't know how they added them, and I don't know why it's showing up, but if you guys do press right on d pad to modify to it, you guys will go into your, um, workshop here, and if you guys go down to Vanity Plate right here, you guys will see that I have two things. I have a nun and then a custom mod one. And if you select that, you guys do get the eyeball. Now this is $11,040, which is pretty expensive. But for this customization, I think it is really cool. It's not some little icon for a crew emblem. This is the real deal. If you guys do add this on, which I will be, uh, if you guys do go outside at night, it does glow, which is really, really cool. Um, so you guys, everything transfers over the doors. You guys can customize to whatever you guys want. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with the money livery and all the bumper panels as well. I'm just going to go ahead and add almost all the most expensive stuff on here that shows the most modded stuff. So here has another money, money livery on it. You're going to go ahead and choose all this. I think I find that, like, maybe the, uh... Maybe this one looks pretty cool with the money livery, the roll cage, I'm going to see if I can find one with money livery on it, um, more, more expensive one, less the armor, there we go, there's a money livery one, uh, the turret buckets, uh, any money livery ones, perfect, like this one at the back has a full money livery, the bed liners, let's see if there's any money livery thing on here, uh, I don't think there is. So, oh, there's one that has just bars and then there's nothing. I might just do the bar one just because, um, and then the, the exhaust as well. If we could find the, like, a uh, money livery exhaust would be pretty cool. If we can find something that with the money livery exhaust. Yeah, no, I don't think anything has the money livery, so I'm just gonna keep that stock. The hood, uh, I don't wanna hood, I wanna, I don't wanna cover up that eye. <laughs> So I may keep it just the way it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Horn is already modded, the livery is. Now there is, if you guys do mod the vehicle, you do get like about five different free liveries from the Christmas. So you have Deck the Halls, It's a Wrap, Candy Cane, Trees, Camo, Galaxy. So these are pretty cool to also add to if you guys want to add those, but I'm not going to because the money livery is really, really rare. You guys are just going to go ahead and find now, by the way, you guys do want to change your custom plates, just buy all three of them, right, like I have, I have Awesome Guy, uh, OMW2FYB, and Killer Mod, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy all of them, just to make sure that they're all selected, just for due detection purposes, and then everything else should be modded, the weapons, you guys can go to wherever you guys want, if you guys want this, but the most expensive ones, except for the back one, uh, should be also selected, so that's basically all you guys have to do. Uh, now this one you can guys do see that I don't have any modded, this one doesn't have any wheels uh, on here, so you can't select any wheels, so this is fully modded. If you guys do want this vehicle, let me know. Uh, it comes with everything that you see right here, I'm not going to be changing anything, but this is the vehicle that will be coming into your garage if you guys want it, so let me know if you guys do want this, uh, or any other vehicles you saw in this, in this video. Um, so I guess hope you did enjoy this vehicle, uh, this vehicle kind of modding okay, showcase thing. I kind of showed you like two videos in one. Uh, kind of wanted to just do it all in one go. Just to show you guys how to get it all. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure you drop a like and a subscribe if you guys are new. And definitely hit the post notifications, uh, on today's video. And also hit the subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss out on any more of these videos. Just like this one. So guys, hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to go ahead and join my crew to get all these modded colors, especially this modded white one that looks pretty dope with the money livery. I find that stands out a lot. So like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.